Good afternoon. I am Johnny Ray Noble, president of the Alpha Psi Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the seed of Alpha in South Carolina. To all of our dignitaries, our guests that have come, our councilman, the Honorable Ed McDowell, to our police chief, Chief Hober, to all of our distinguished brothers here of Alpha Phi Alpha and our community. This is a great and wonderful day to celebrate the life and the legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And so then I would ask that you all would bow in a position of humility as we, as we pray. Eternal God, our Father, thank you for this sunny day. Thank you for a day that reminds us of your goodness. We thank you for this opportunity to gather and commemorate and remember and celebrate a wonderful patriot, a great American that gave his life not only for his people, but for all of humanity. Help us then, who has been passed the baton, to seek that which is high, those ideals which are noble, and those things which are good. Help us in the moments of difficult decisions. Help us to work with renewed vigor for a warless world, a better distribution of wealth, love for each and every one of our neighbors, and a brotherhood among all people that, trans that transcends race, creed, or color. Help us to be better to our neighbors. Help us to stand up for that which is right and abhor that which is evil. Help us to love each other as our Creator has loved us. We ask that you would be with us now as we remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the drum major for justice and peace. We thank you and we ask that you would touch us, invoke your presence here today, and continue to bind our hearts into a tapestry of America and of your kingdom to come. It's in the mighty and the matchless name of our Savior we pray. We say, Amen. And now at this time, we will have greetings by our own District 2 City Councilman, the Honorable Ed McDowell, Jr. My brothers and sisters, thank you all so much for being here. To the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha and your resiliency in terms, even in the pandemic, you've come forth to give homage to Dr. Martin Luther King to Skip Holbrook, our police chief, Henry Simon, our assistant city manager, to all the men and women in blue who protects us all. We're just glad to be here. If I was in the church, I'd say, let the church say amen. amen. Let me say just a word on behalf of our mayor It is forthrightly so 
the purpose of this gathering today to give homage to a great man, a man who espoused love, brotherhood, and sisterhood, and was able to engender within each of us the seed of hope. I think you know as well as I, this dream of Martin King was able to permeate our hearts and our minds. And we are not let a nightmarish situation ruin and destroy hope that is embedded within each of us. We live in terrible times today, don't we? But somewhere Martin reminds us that love conquers all. That even in the midst of hate, love is the barrier, love is the foundation that gives us hope for tomorrow. I guess rightfully so. We could easily say today, this nightmarish situation that we find ourselves in today. Is there hope for us? Is there possibilities for us? Is there the kind of sustaining love that will give to each of us the kind of resiliency to move beyond where we are to where Martin wants us to be? Death could not destroy the dream. Impossibilities could not destroy the dream. We are here today because hope, love, brotherhood, and sisterhood is able to embrace what it means to be what Martin calls us to be. If I had a word, a resounding word, that I could say to you today on this brisk, chilly day, I would simply say, walk together, children. Don't you get weary? Walk together, children, don't you get weary. There's a great hopeful camp meeting in the promised land. So as we stand here today, we stand not in silence, but we stand with a resilient hope that he's still with us and that in the midst of our struggles, love engenders all. That's all I got to say other than to say thank you for being who you are. O oh Lord, may the true spirit of eternity rule our hearts, guide our thoughts, and control our lives so that we may come through the service of all. Amen. Thank you, brothers. This concludes our program. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today.